Good morning students. Today I am going to teach you the fifth topic of unit 4 uh, which is laser for measurement of current and voltage. Okay. So the principle uh, behind this uh, measurement of current and voltage is uh, basically when a polarized light is given to the magnetic field okay high intensity magnetic field the laser light will be polarized okay so the angle of polarization will be proportional to the current and voltage in it okay so this is the basic principle so the angle of polarization is denoted by phi and this it is uh, it is given by the formula v into integral of h dl so uh, v is nothing but the uh, verdant constant of that medium okay so the magnetic field medium is having some verdant constant that is denoted as v so this verdant constant it is nothing but the measure of the strength of the Faraday effect. So, how much uh, strength the Faraday's effect uh, of that particular me medium. Okay. So, that word is constant and it is in the integration of H into DL. H is the magnetic field intensity and DL it is the for particular length how much. So, uh, it will be integrated along the complete path length capital L. Okay. And uh, when you integrate it, we will get uh, like uh, uh, V N I, right? V is again the verdict constant, N is the number of turns of the coil and I is the current applied to this, okay? So let's see the construction of it. Basically, uh, the, the arrangement from this measurement of current and voltage, uh, it, it, it is having a laser device. So through, uh, and here, uh, here we have two polarizing filter. This is the first one and this is the second one. Okay. So, in between the polarizing filter, we have a, a magnetic field. So, I have said so this, the, the magnetic field, it is created by a material called high verdict constant material. Okay. So, the verdict constant should be very high. Okay. So, let's see the construct, uh, working of it. So, basically the laser beam will be emitted from the laser device and it will be applied to the uh, magnetic field through the polarizing filter. Okay. So, once it is reaching the polarization, so two uh, cases will be there. If there is no current, nothing is going to happen. Or, uh, it is directly moving and it is uh, received at the detector. Okay, so when a current is applied in this magnetic field, what will happen? Some magnetic field intensity will be produced. So because of that intensity, the laser light falling on this magnetic field will be polarized. Okay, so it will be polarized uh, to an angle or uh, polarized to clockwise or anti-clockwise direction. Okay, so uh, if uh, based upon the direction of the current, uh, the, the laser light will be uh, uh, polarized clockwise or anti-clockwise. Okay, and then it is uh, moving towards the polarizing filter. So this particular polarizing filter will polarize the, uh, uh, the beam to 45 degree. Okay, so it will polarize the beam to 45 degree. So on the whole, at the detector, if you receive this, uh, you will have uh, some uh, angle, uh, uh, some polarization. So that will be uh, denoted by phi, which is the angle of polarization. Okay, so on the whole, the angle will be proportional to the amount of current applied in this device. Okay, the next topic is laser for measurement of atmospheric effect. So, the study of atmosphere is very important in order to uh, monitor the climate change, uh, uh, in order to monitor the global pollutions, uh, everything. So, okay. so, because of that, it plays an important role, uh, uh, the laser plays an important role in monitoring the atmospheric effects. So, uh, this laser is used for monitoring the atmospheric components such as clouds, aerosols, ozone, water vapor. So, everything can be measured using this laser. The only uh, advantage is we can penetrate even inside the cloud. Okay. So, monitoring using uh, any remote sensing techniques, uh, it is having a drawback that it cannot penetrate uh, into the clouds and all. 
okay so clouds water vapor everything it cannot penetrate because of that you cannot study by using those uh, remote sensing techniques so uh, it can be overcome by using the laser technology so the main uh, the laser based the laser device that are used for this purpose is lidar okay the expansion is light detection and range it is very similar to the radar okay so because of that this radar is also called as laser radar okay okay now the lidar is uh, classified into two one is satellite based another one is ground based so satellite based is uh, the the lidar sensor it is a, a device so this device it is attached to the uh, satellite okay so from uh, from the satellite it is it, it can monitor all the cloud changes all the atmospheric effects okay so it can be done globally so global measurements can be possible possible by using satellite based lidar and the second one is ground based lidar ground based lidar means from the ground uh, the laser pulses are uh, used uh, for monitoring the clouds for some some local areas so some regional level uh, ground based technique is used okay now let's see the construction and working of lidar okay so first the laser beam it is allowed to fall on the steering mirror that means the steering mirror it is adjusted in such a way that uh, the laser beam uh, is focused on the atmosphere so in the, in the atmosphere it may contain clouds or aerosol or water vapor or anything okay it is allowed to uh, focus on the atmosphere so once the laser light is focused on the atmosphere because of the particles inside the atmosphere the laser beam will be scattered okay so that scattered beam will be captured and collected by the telescope okay so and then it is allowed to travel through the fiber optic cable and then it is passed through the filters okay the filters it will uh, eliminate the uh, frequencies that are away from the laser frequency okay uh, because uh, during the scattering uh, uh, it can be scattered uh, to any frequency okay also only the laser frequency uh, or wavelength uh, content or uh, beam only be uh, allowed to pass uh, inside the filter okay so after that a mechanical shutter it is uh, used so this will be used for uh, removing low intensity signal okay so because of the scattering the wide range of signals can be collected so low intensity signal it is of no use so it is the mechanical shutter it is used for uh, eliminating the low intensity uh, pulses or uh, beam okay and after that uh, it is allowed to uh, we fall on the um, detector so the detector it detects the actual scattering scattered laser beam and it will uh, it will be the detector will be uh, output will be uh, given to the digitizer that means uh, actually the detector detects the signal based upon the time frame or the based upon the distance it will, it will capture like that so that signal will be given to the di digitizer because because uh, only after digitizing uh, the data can be stored in the data, um, computer so because of that it, is, it should be first digitized and given to the data storage inside the computer okay and in between we have uh, a timing circuit running that means the mechanical shutter uh, it is run based upon the timing that is controlled uh, by the digitizer and the laser uh, pulsing okay